what is up guys welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video we have one of the craziest we're picking up two brand new fish for my indoor pool pond as you guys can tell i got the big cooler back there because they are some very big fish now i am meeting this guy at a pet store so let's hope he's legit let's hope he comes through but guys if this video's up it's most likely because he came through. Now, if you want to stay up to date with this kind of thing, make sure you guys follow my socials on Instagram, on Snapchat. I do tend to post there the things I get before they get released here on YouTube. You can also follow Captain the Goat on Instagram along with my fish business if you haven't done that already. But I'll see you at the pet store. So guys, we made it here to the fish store. We did meet the guy, super cool dude. Huge shout out to you for bringing us these fish. He did drive two and a half hours to us. Now, guys, the fish in here are absolutely stunners. They are something that we currently own. That right there is a quick little look at them. If you saw them, great. If not, you're gonna have to wait till we get back to the house before I reveal what they are. We have now made it back to the house with the fish. Now they are acclimating to the pond. As you guys can tell though, it is absolutely giant and we do have some very large fish in here. So what we are doing right now is we are defrosting some tilapia as we speak because we are going to have to feed this pond before they can come in here because I do not want them attacked. I don't want these fish to be hungry and see them as food. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we are going to be adding a lot more fish in here just because the pond is getting a bit stocked up and I don't want to overstock it. Now, a lot of these fish are actually going to be going to the other pond that we are building. So make sure all of you stay tuned for that. And for those of you that don't know, we are building a 4,000 gallon pond. Now this pond is going to be absolutely giant. That indoor pond is about a thousand gallons. So it's going to be four times the size of that one. These fish are gonna have plenty of room and most of the fish from this pond are also going to be coming in here. So you can definitely say we have some crazy things planned for this channel. Make sure all of you hit that subscribe button so that you can get up to date when I do post. But with these big projects comes big bills and I unfortunately do pay it all. But guys, I love doing it for all of you and for myself. This is my dream and it's what I love to do on a daily basis. So now let's go inside and start cutting up some tilapia. We now have all the tilapia cut up. As you guys can tell, the fish are very hungry, so they are going to enjoy this. Now, it is time to do a handful in this pond. Now, everything rushes to the middle of the pond, so everything does get a chance to eat. As you can see, the arrows do eat off the bottom. You can see the iridescent sharks. We got the Oscars. We just have a bunch of things that love tilapia. We also have two bichers in here. There's the rip saw. Let's do our second handful. That right there is the no-eyed albino iridescent shark. He's been growing a ton. We got the paraiba in here. He looks absolutely phenomenal. This is our third handful going in. Let's do our four. And then we can go ahead and uh, do our fifth as well. But yeah, just like that, five handfuls went in and there is no more tilapia left. That is absolutely insane how much these fish can eat, but it shows you that they do have a big appetite. So now I do feel a lot more comfortable putting in these two new fish. So obviously I have to reveal what they are before they go into this beautiful pond. So guys, let me flip around the camera and show you. In three, two, one. Now in this tub right here, we have two arowanas. As you can tell, one of them is a beautiful silver and the other one is an albino. Now to find an albino this big is super, super difficult. So make sure that all of you do like this video because it was a mission to find one this large. But if you or anyone you know has another albino arowana this large, please feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram, I'll leave it linked down below, or leave a comment on today's video because I really, really want another albino arowana that's already large enough 
to go in here. So once that 4,000 gets built, all five Arowanas can move into there. If not, we would have to wait a couple years for them to ever be able to go with these guys. But let me stop talking. Let me add these two beautiful new fish into their new home. Now we are going to be starting with the silver one. So I do need to make sure that this albino doesn't jump. Okay. And just like that, we got the silver. Let's close this and let's add them on in. Okay, so the other silver is coming up to say hi to him. There you go, buddy. Now we do have to keep a close eye on him just because he is smaller than the other two arowanas. But let's get this albino in. Now I have no idea why this iridescent shark is doing this, but he is, he's going absolutely crazy. So let's get this albino arowana added into the pond. Now I am hoping this goes well. Come here, buddy. Just like that into the net. Okay. Come on, swim out. There you go. What a beautiful fish that is. Now we haven't owned one of these in forever, but as you can see, he is very noticeable in this pond. Now the last time we owned an albino arowana this large was about nine months ago. He was 18 inches and my phantom red tail catfish did get a hold of him and that is what ended up killing him. Now, for all of you that don't know, that is how Killer got his name because he killed my thousand dollar albino arowana and that is why we have all four arowanas in this pond instead of the other pond. We have now made it inside to my room and if it's your first time here, guys, we got a lot of tanks in here so let's just do a quick little overview of everything. Starting off at my 75 gallon tank, we only have one baby albino arowana and in my 90 gallon we also have our other baby albino arowana now these are the two that i was talking about previously that we were going to grow out for that pond but that's no longer going to happen so we are going to be selling both of these now if we come over to our 29 gallon tank we do have a lot of people's favorites if not their favorite it is our gulper catfish named garfield now he's right there He's doing great. Now I am thinking about making this a planted aquarium just because I'm not really liking how this fake rock is looking or how the fake plants are looking. And I do think he would look great with real plants and they would help to improve the water quality. So I think that's something I'm definitely gonna do. If you guys agree with me, make sure you guys leave it down in the comments below. But let me take you to my 150 gallon tank. Now we do have some fish in here for sale as well. The only thing I'm not selling is my Indo-Pacific tarpon and these two big rhino plecos. Everything else though is for sale. We have an albino giant grommy, we have a pike cichlid, we have a Delhezi bicher, and we have a Senegal in here as well. Now it is time to wrap up today's video. I really hope that all of you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see all of you next weekend with a brand new video. Peace out everybody.